Okay, so this is the Speedlight Transmitter STE3RT. Um, this video will show how to do the uh, settings on this. All right, right now I have it on A, E T T L A. A is camera, camera left. This is just set for E T T L. Okay, this, all the commands will come from that. It's set in slave mode. Behind the talent here is camera B. It's also set for um, slave mode under ETTL. And camera right is, this is its angle, shooting down there, and it is ETTL. And it's set for slave also. Um, so let's see what each one can do, and then you put them together. So right now this is going to be A. A only firing under ETTL. And here we go. And here's your review. And now we come up here and we take off. Uh, how do you do it? You go to group. You press this on or off button because now we're in group A. And we scroll down to B. And we turn it on. Now B will now come on. It will show a flash. And the others are off. So now we photograph again. And this is the backlighting. Let's see if I can go here on this one. This is the backlighting. And you see. Now we go to C. So let's go ahead and kill C. Uh, kill B first. So go to group. Turn it off. Dial to C. Turn it on. Now let's C camera right. Press. You see the light just came on the thunderbolt showing that um, we're now just C firing. So that's going to be the right. Yeah, it's a little blown out. So we go to C. Well, let me come put them all together first to you and then we'll show. So go to group. Um, C is on. Go to B, turn it on. Go to A, turn it on. And you'll see they're all, they're all on now, all three flashes. They're all in ETTL. This is what it looks like combined on a tripod here, so I'm not doing anything. Um, let's see if I can get you the shot or preview. It's a little light on camera right, so that's going to be C. So I go to groups, get down to C. Um, hit the C, see it's a C plus minus. Hit that again. I'm going down. I'll go down one and a quarter stops on that. So you see when I press the shutter speed, ha shutter half play. You see it's it's going to knock down C, one and a half stops. Clicking, and now we see get her over there down only a two thirds stop. Take the shot again. Confirm it's two thirds stop, and shot again. And there we are. We have B. So let's kill group B. And you'll see what happens if I get rid of B. Off. And I just have the two side lights on. And this is what you get. Pretty smooth looking actually, but... Alright, so manual mode. Let's cut to the chase on that. So manual, you're going to uh, go control functions. Now hold on, let me get my brain right around this again. All right, menu, channel, nope. Hold on, I'm on this, memory. Okay, mode, MOD. It's been a while since I played with manual. All right, so now we're on M, and this is gonna control all the rate flashes all together. Um, you can change your ratios. Is A, B, and C. So now I can control each one manually. This is the master. So under group A, let's just let it ride. Let's just shoot them all the way it says manual full out. Okay? Manual full out. You can see it's blown out. It was all full power of each flash. So let's go ahead and turn. Let's go to group uh, A. And that's camera left. Let's go ahead and dial it down to uh, right about there. And let's go ahead and go out of there and get to group B. And group B's behind her, so we'll let that ride for a second. Let's go to group C. 
And let's dial it down half too, just get some readings. Normally I would just shut it down and and do a um, light meter, which I'm going to do now. Um, so now, here's your light meter. You grab any light meter you want. I'm at 100 ISO. So I've got my ISO at 100. I've got my shutter speed. Let me confirm that. Shutter speed at uh, uh, 100. ISO at 100. So let's go ahead and set my... I'm setting up my uh, my light meter now. Okay. Point to hold that here for me like that, please. Facing that flash. All right. Facing that flash only. We're good. It's just a test. Oops. Hit my model light. Hold on. Okay. Let me get the reading of that. Let's do that again. Ready? F11. All right, so it's saying I got to go way to F11 to get this shot. Um, that's a lot of power, um, but let's just do it. Let me just show you. Uh, I'm going to change my readings. My uh, let me go to live mode so you can see this in live mode, and I'm going to change this to F11. Okay, so this will be half her face anyway. Reset for me. You good. Okay. That's half the face. <laughs> All right. Now let's go ahead and set this side. So I'll set this side over there. Keep your face turned back to it's like you would normally like you no no like you would turn normally. All right. Put it against your face only, just for the just for the principle of it. Okay. Here we go again. And let me take a peek at it. Make sure the meter's good. Okay. Back to the flash. And here is the shot coming. Okay. Let's take a look at that. It's saying F16. So we've got on this side of our face a reading meeting required of 16 and 11 on the left side of our talent's face, my left. So that's way off. So I need to dial down the power on C. Take that. I'm going to dial down the power on C, which is camera right. So we go to groups here, and I'm going to dial the C. Oops, C again. Now I'm into the mode. Let's take it down a quarter. And here we go. And firing what? Okay. Okay, let me see my reading. F11. All right, so we got F11 on each side of her cheek. Reset it, please. Okay. Other side, cheek. Okay. Your reset. And here we go. F11 on this one, too. And waiting, it's focusing. Okay. And now you see we've got complete F11 on both sides of her cheek. And you saw how we got this. manual. I didn't play around trying to just eyeball and guess it. There's no reason to. F11 is way too much depth of field for a portrait. Um, but I just wanted to show you how to get there. So you dial down these flashes equally now and they should go down equally. Um, in other words, if I dial down C and A at the same ratio, so here's C, and I take this down to 1 8th, and I go to A, and I take it down, oops, all right, I took it down a quarter, so I took it down one, two, three stops. So one, two, three stops. If I did my math right, this should also, here, give me a reading, be equal on both sides of her face. Yeah, okay, put a, good. We should be around F8 or so, something like that, 6.5, let's see. Still working. F8, okay, F8 it is. And reset it and face the other splash on now hopefully this will come out to that fade also a little closer to your cheek. Okay. There we go. Sorry. And we're firing in a minute. It's focusing. Live mode is actually pretty darn slow. All right. So you see what happened there? It meant F8 now. And I just, because I just found it on one reading, I didn't play around and guess anymore. Once I balanced it out, I would just move them in proportion. If I want a little less on her, on her camera's right, her left cheek, I would just dial it down more. Which I actually do. So I'll go to uh, C, which is camera right, and I'll dial down to C, and I'll take that down um, two stops. All right, so now I'm two stops down. Closely, it was probably closer to nine. All right, here we go again. And what's my reading? F8 and what? It's almost ready to drop off down, at, down below eight, so I've got to drop it more. All right, and here we go again. 
back to C dialing down that is C yeah I'm confirming that dialing down and here we go C it is I might be getting spill from the, the back of the the back of uh yeah it's a five six now because I still got the back lighting on the back light on okay give me a put set your um like this for me hold this for like this you'll meet right about yeah right about they're facing down but don't block the light don't block the strobe I just want to get a general idea of what the light is back there so let's go ahead and let it ride face me like you're going to portrait again so all the lighting is similar all right so here we go what do i have back there f22 i'm really blowing out the back let's take a look at it let's let's review that since it did take us image um it may be blowing out the back but some people tell you the ratios but each material is different and this material seems alike f22 as far as being nice and clean doesn't look blown out to me in fact it, because of my high aperture it's showing all the wrinkles um in the uh <laughs> the backdrop which you know you wouldn't want unless i um added some other character to that light um the backlight so when I say that let's just grab let's grab this piece of cloth just for fun drop it over this backlight and now we're in manual mode so it doesn't matter about blocking the sensors on these now because it's only getting uh, the power I'm putting out so let's take a look at this with that light partially black all right so I got rid of my lines as you can see I got rid of my lines because I darkened up that light in the backlight. And there it is before and after. Um, don't worry about it casting a shadow here. If you crop this, that shadow's out. So that's not an issue for me at all. Let me go to mode. Multi. All right, this is different. This multi is very, very different. All right, well, watch this. Four divided by 60. Okay. I've got a bunch of flashes going off on this one. Um, I usually do this with one flash, but we'll have a little fun. All right, 4 divided by 60 is 20. So I go here and I set the shutter speed 20 for a second. There we go. Um, I got my ISO at 100. I'm going to let that ride. I haven't done this with three flashes, so it's going to be kind of cool. 20 for a second. Your oh, fingernails aren't painted, are they? Let's see. Give me a give me a wave like that or some something similar to this. Okay, excellent. Um, let me see if I can see it. Uh, let me take it off live view mode for a minute because well, this is what it looks like. Because live view is going to be a little slow for me photographing it, but I'll let you participate. All right. Um, more in front of you there like that. Yeah. More of a circle. Okay. You don't have to block your face. I can see down lower. Okay. Good right there. A uh, little more speed. Okay, hold on. All right, so look here. This is what happened. It may look like one shot to you, which it was. But if we look at her hands, look how funky that is. Hold on. Let's see if I can get it in there. All right, see her hands? It made multiple layers of her hands. And you saw that was a twentieth of a second. Okay, that's what multi looks like. Let's go through the last one we get it over with. Those are hurts. So what do you do here? That's hurts. Um, that's how many. Well, the one to the left is how many times the flash is going to fire. Every time you increase it, um, you have to divide it by the hertz to the right. And then that, once you divide that, that gets you your shutter speed number. This does have like a default in it. You can only do so much, and then it's going to show you that that number won't change, and this one has to change. Um, real simple. Read your directions on that one. All right, let's get out of here. Let's go to mode. That's group. That's master. ETTL, which is, uh, I think is great if you um, just use this. So go to group. Scroll down. Turn it on. We should see them all three pop up here. And see was camera right. And that was returned down, as you saw. And this will be the last one to round it out for us. Okay, last shot. And we go back to the view. And now all that work in manual, and you see what ETTL can do. All right, so that's just ETTL. With only one variable was the, uh, I dialed down the, uh, 
this camera camera right um, is flash by only two thirds. Hope you appreciate this one. Um, off we go. If you appreciate it, give me a like. You know, give me a like. Give me a thumbs up. Give me give me a little love. Bye.